Hey everybody, Jacob Myers Flies. Today we're going to be tying a little pattern that, uh, that I think worked really well in the salmon run when the salmon are spawning and uh, they have their eggs there in the water and when they're there for a little bit they'll start hatching out and that's what you'll get in this little uh, what they call an alvine a uh, little salmon fry and uh, it's got the little egg sac on the bottom that uh, you know it draws nutrients off of that's what that little sack is at the bottom here's what I have in the hook right here is a Daiichi 2451 in a size 4 this provides a nice hook gap here and I'm going to tie this upside down uh, you can also tie it uh, you know the hook point down and you know maybe a more standard tie but this allows for a little bit more hook gap and uh, you know hopefully with these heavy beads it will um, it will not uh, you know catch on the bottom as much so what I'm going to do is just take this 140 denier uh, UTC thread this ultra thread and I'm going to wrap this on this hook back to about the hook point and that's about where the hook starts to um, you know to bend and so I'm going to put a nice layer on there I'm going to wrap it up twice because what I want this to do is here in this uh, you know this uh, thread here whenever I put a little bit of UV on it it's going to it's going to make this clear, but it's also going to show, uh, you know, a little bit of that black shank through there, and that's what I want to, uh, you know, I want to accomplish there. So then what I want to do is I'm going to take a, uh, a little piece of this, just a six pound uh, mono, and this can be anything. It doesn't have to be anything special, uh, but I'm going to tie this, tie this in, and when I tie this in, I want to make sure that it's. Uh, that it's back here, you know, to leave room for what you're going to see, uh, you know, the little beads here on the bottom and room for the eyes. So, so I'm just going to lay this in, make sure this goes back to the to the back there, and then I'm going to tie this in on the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to wrap that back. Sometimes that might wrap up around there. It don't matter. But what, I, but what really matters is the distance in which this thread, you know, is, is tied in. Now, what I'm going to do here is take my, my beads. Now, what I did, and I, you know, I just kind of skipped this process so it wasn't uh, so long, is I just took two beads. These are... A fire orange bead it's just a brass bead uh, 5 30 second bead and stack them one on top of the other on my bodkin and then just took a little bit of bone dry Solares and just kind of built that up on there okay that's all that is it's just two beads on there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you know there's the the small end of the hole that would typically go up to your uh, to your eye and then there's the wide end, okay? I'm gonna put the wide end on first. Sometimes as you as you tie a bunch of them, that, that should work. That should work right there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna advance that thread up. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this back, advance that thread up, and then, see that? I'm just gonna let that fall to the bottom and then keep this tight you can reposition this just get your thread started here you know maybe a wrap or two pull this pull this down and I like to make sure that this thread is is tied back and so I'm gonna pull back tension there to get that bead really secure in there okay now what I can do is I'm going to wrap this up and then I'm going to pull this back and then wrap that there. And that's going to allow me just to build that head up 
just a little bit because I need we need to build this up so we can put the eyes on okay now before I get too carried away what I want to do is make sure that I get that Solaris in here and kind of just put that on there coat those threads in the back now I'm coating those those threads you'll see that that black shank shines through just a little bit and that's what we want as you look at those pictures of those small little fry uh, you know you can kinda see that line in them and so that would um, I yeah, just try to match that and it gives some durability to this fly when the t you know you're catching big steelhead or salmon you know they got some pretty aggressive teeth so okay so now that we've got that situated uh, what I'm going to do is just wrap this up and just build this head up just a little bit not too much because when we put the material on it'll help build it up uh, the other thing is you can tie these, just a bunch of these. So when I'm tying a lot of these, I'll just make a bunch of these right here, you know, and just whip finish, you know, whip finish this off, cut it, and set it off to the side. And you can make several <clears throat> of these. Now I'm going to do is take a little bit of crystal flash here. I've got just like four little strands. You don't need a whole lot. Uh, these things, they don't have to be real big. I usually let it extend back, you know, to... Um, on my vise to about where uh, you know the tension handle is it's just you know preference I think so you do whatever works best for you so I'll tie them in snip that off this is not a very bulky fly now all I have here is a little bit of arctic fox just a medallion the white um, Arctic Fox hair and I'm just going to take a little bit of this again not much because this is not a very bulky fly and so then what I want to do is you're going to grab a clump of that I know it looks a lot now we got to pull those fibers out and I'm going to I'm going to pull up here at the tips and I'm going to pull all of this this under fur I'm going to pull that out and strip that back and so eventually you'll be left with just some really nice just fibers here not not many you don't need many make this thing too bulky and it kind of loses its little sleek appearance that's it there now what I'm going to do is just bring this back just a little bit past my uh, my crystal flash I'll tie that in. I'm going to pull this down almost to the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull this back. You can pull this back here like this. And see that, that helps build that head up just a little bit. That way you don't got to use so much thread. And then we're going to use some three millimeter eyes the living eyes just kind of build that up there just a little bit this will all when we put the Solaris in there it kind of all blends in so you don't kind of get real crazy with you know trying to make that you know a perfect little ramp right there and then we're going to just whip finish four or five and you don't got to be, again, you don't got to double whip finish or get real crazy because all this will be covered with the, uh, you know, the Solaris there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with a little bit of this thick Solaris and I'm going to put a little dab, just a little dab on that side. I'm going to spin it, just a small dab on that side. That's going to be what I'm going to hold my eyes down. I'm going to take my bodkin and I'm going to just grab one of those eyes on the edge of my bodkin. I'm just going to lay it on here. 
And once you get it on, you know, you can just slightly move it, move it around. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. You can put one side on at a time if you want and glue it. I just like to get both of them set. And then what I can do is I can put it right side up and I can move these around. Kind of look at them. Not that the fish are going to, you know, in that instant kind of <laughs> try to try to make sure that the eyes are right, you know, before it before it takes it, but I'm going to get them pretty close. And I'm going to bring my UV torch down and just hit those. That'll glue those eyes on there real nice. Okay, now this is this is almost finished. Okay, almost finished. That'll lay back down there real nice then later on. Now I'm going to take some more of that Solaris and just kind of fill in those gaps. Okay, not a lot. You know, the Solaris will kind of just fill in those little spots. I'll get it all on here about to what I want. Then I'll take my bodkin and kind of just, you know, just move it around a little bit and get it situated just for, just for aesthetics for me, really. I think sometimes our we're trying to catch fishermen instead of fish with our fussiness with some of the flies, but yeah, you want them to look nice. Okay, now I'm going to just come in, and so you can see that Slara's head just build up there, and I'm just going to kind of come in and just uh, just take my body can and move it around a little bit there. Just make sure it's in all those little spots that I want it to be. I'm going to kind of get in that little, fill that hole there. That's the bead. That's where that, that hole is in the end of your bead there. You can just kind of put a little bit right in there. Fill that up. And that's pretty close to being where we need it to be. Okay. Now we got that all situated. Again, I don't you don't gotta be so fussy with it, but I'm just gonna make sure that that's that cured on there real nice and good. Now when you're doing this, obviously I'm trying to keep this in front of the camera and some of those things. But when you're doing this you can you can run through it you know a little faster. But pretty much that's that's about it there. And that's a, uh, you know, they're not, they're not too bad. It's not a bad tie. It doesn't, doesn't take real long. You can do a bunch of these beads up ahead of time and make all those up. And then, like I said, you can put them all in your shank, get all those made up. And so then just kind of production line and then go through and just really all you're doing is popping the hair on. Uh, you know, you can even do that part too is get them to there to where the hair is on and then all you're doing is doing all your eyes there later so uh, pretty neat little little fly there and uh, you know pretty uh, productive I've tied stuff similar to this uh, in the past and it has worked really well on the salmon runs you know the brown trout steelhead really really like that so uh, give it a try check us out at myersflies.com uh, also you can stop down at the fly shop at uh, 525 Liners Creek Road there in Dallas Town. If we could be of any help to you, uh, don't
don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks and have a great day. God bless.